Yeah, John McClain. Definitely. Okay. Thank you for saying that because that's the stuff that I, I get more t- because it's more it's a little rougher. We had a stunt double who's this incredible martial artist. And I do about 85, whatever the percentage, a lot of the stunts. And because when he would get in and do the fight, it was so clean and pristine and he would just decimate people in him. And yeah. because our creator wrote the Born Identity. So that oh, well, connection. Yeah, but when I did it, the fights got really sloppy and messy and dirtier. And I prefer that look. And it's much more of a Harrison Ford approach. Realist, like, yeah, yeah, don't yeah. fucking hit me. This yeah. is going to hurt. And it's rough and dirty. And yeah, that, those, the fights go towards. That. Yeah, and he always got his ass kicked. Like the oh, German dude. mechanic, he's like got, I got the blood. He's like, oh, fuck I got so stuff. annoyed with by the end getting the shit kicked out of me. I'm like, do I win one of these motherfucking? Yeah, 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 this yeah, guy yeah, kicked. Yeah. There's three episodes of one dude kicking my fucking. You got ass. seriously hurt yet? Yeah. Really? Yeah. But broken ribs. Uh, you know what? I had a, the ribs. I got compressed in one. One yeah. of the guys was a uh, world class kickboxer. Yeah, yeah. I told him to kick me. I had Why a of vest. The ribs got folded over on top. Oh, freaking nuts! Yeah, pinched a nerve, Method lost actor. all this. Wow. Asshole. Yeah, right. I was like, well, if this I thing gets fucking it. canceled, I want to be able to say I did is that. that guy still working? Yeah, he is. He's good. Oh, all right. They kept him. Yeah, it wasn't his fault. You asked I for asked it. for it. Yeah. But, you know, there was a lot of the dings up. My wife would go, what, did you get raped? How are you covering Easy bruises? now. Steady now. Yeah. Sign of the uh, contract. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know. So is he, like, ex-military or was he recruited? Yeah, I think he comes from, a, you know, it's set up that he comes from a black ops oh, wow. kind of a background. Oh, you know what I mean? So he's got to be able to handle all this stuff on his own. and. You know, it's you buy it. I hope after a while. I mean, some of it's ridiculous, but so it's, it's more PG thirteen than R. If you had a yeah, a movie. I would say PG thirteen. Yeah, okay. We it's family. About a lot of shows that that this character is like compared to eighties, a lot of action. Yeah. Auto Bowl, it's at the writers from Warren. It's yeah. Experience from all John McClane. A lot of names that people love and people have attached themselves to. But what makes your show? What makes Agent X different from some of these other people that you may pull from? But no, you know what? I think the only thing is different is I'm doing it as opposed to them. You know. I mean, I think that it very much and by design reaches towards those kind of archetypes, especially. You know, it's like I personally, those are the guys I grew up watching. Those are the guys I want to emulate. You know what I mean? I don't think I'm reinventing any wheels. I don't think we are. I think it's that stuff works. It's good entertainment, and I want to watch it. You know, so I think it's a little bit of that. So how much, I mean, it's, it, there's a lot of action you talk about, and but as far as, like, the drama side of things, or how personable does your character actually get on the show? Like, is there a lot of emotion from your character? Is he kind of, like, stone-faced most of the time? No, you know, I mean, as much as I want to do that stuff, like, be a hard-ass, I think some of that has to get broken down by who the guest stars are. And we have certain episodes where people break me down you don't break me down but like get into my world and you kind of like you know you fall for you want to help you know one of the one of the uh, obstacles in making this was having me be by myself all the time no one to talk to you know so I had to have I've got you know one female spy who the gorgeous Olga Fonda who pops up often and you guys are gonna be happy she does she's great she's beautiful and you know she's a good foil for me and we have a nice relationship you know it's not all hard ass so you take orders from Sharon Stone yeah so what's that <laughs> what's that like yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 oh, it's fucking like this basic instinct I had to yeah, right. well that's the thing and I was 15 when basic instinct came out you know what I mean so I was in uh, you know yeah, right now, yeah, 75. Yeah. Yeah. The movie was 88. Right? 88, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I was 14 or 15. Yeah. I keep saying 15. Whatever. But yeah, it's it's weird, you know, after a while. But then you get comfortable with anybody you start working with, you gotta get over it, you get yeah. used to it. And you know, it's her job is harder. I get to go be cool. You know what I mean? She's gotta be the one Serious. in charge of this yeah. thing and figure it out. You know, she gets plunked into this whole like, oh what the fuck is this? And yeah, then yeah, yeah. gotta figure it out, who's this guy? And she had a much more difficult job than I did. And I feel like okay, so and you're also working with James O'Jones. Jones. So yeah. I feel like oh, there's man. some wow. people just in life that when you talk to them, everything they say sounds prolific. We did too. We did the table read. Yeah. Table Here's read with him. Coffee. Yeah. yeah. I've gotta go to the bathroom. Right. Be like, wow, Whoa. Darth Vader just told me I gotta use the <laughs> yeah. shitter. Yeah. There's so yeah. many times during the table read for the pilot mm-hmm. where you'd hear him talk and everybody would just you'd forget it was your line. You're like, right. Oh, right, right. Fuck. Yeah, and then you'd say your line because he would just be completely distracted. Such an iconic voice, cool. Nice guy. He's just, he's like, Do you need me to do something? No, you got about a minute. Okay. You got a minute. Give us one of these. Um, oh. No I can, yeah, obviously, I can pick up. I talk fucking for it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, no, it was cool. It's 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 very much that. I'm gonna go see him tonight in the gym. Yeah, he's got to play it. Yeah, Tyson. Yeah, yeah. 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 So you mentioned like actors and stuff. What was it like working with Kelsey Grammer? Wow. I mean, that was a master class every single day. It was it was mind blowing. I mean, uh, no offense to any other actor I've ever had the pleasure of working with. That guy exudes all of it. He's every when he walks into a room, 
he absorbs all the light that's available. I mean, I've never been around a guy with that much charisma and absolute talent. I mean, it was freaky. I'd have scenes where I'm like, I'm gonna, I gotta go. I wish I could get drunk right now. It's very, because, it's a very yeah. intense show. Like, his character is like intense. As yeah, as and as when as he as does as it to you, you know, it's like, he, there's this one speech where he's like, bears, bees, bugs, blah, 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 and he's saying it to me, and I'm like, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? He's really, yeah. he's, he's intense. And seriously, such an underappreciated, I don't know, maybe he isn't. I don't think people talk about him enough. He's fucking huge. 